My name is Deborah Richardson and I have stiff person syndrome. Stiff person syndrome, SPS, is a rare neurological disorder affecting one in one million people. Cause is unknown, but research indicates that it is a result of an autoimmune response gone awry in the brain and spinal cord. Symptoms are fluctuating muscle rigidity in the torso and limbs in response to a heightened sensitivity to touch, noise, and emotional distress, creating muscle spasms. Muscle spasms can be so severe, they dislocate joints, rupture muscle, or break bones. Muscle rigidity and spasm can predispose one with stiff person syndrome to unprotected falls and potential serious injury. People with stiff person syndrome can become so disabled they cannot move or walk. Just imagine losing your sense of self with the loss of health, the loss of your job, the loss of your ability. Imagine losing the spontaneity of a hug from your daughter without creating intense ripples of pain. Imagine losing the ability of something so simple as putting on your own shoes and socks. Imagine going to the ninth floor of a teaching hospital after five years of progressive and elusive symptoms and you walk in and the doctor comes in and he gives you the diagnosis, stiff person syndrome. The air is sucked out of the room. You don't know whether to laugh, cry, be relieved, am I gonna die? There was no Google then. There was, he only had two articles to give me from archaic medical journals. Imagine, with the benefit of medication and experimental immunomodulating therapy, you gradually improve to a quality of life. You're not well, but you have a quality of life. Imagine being able to enjoy those hugs again. Imagine being able to put your shoes and socks on again. Imagine micromanaging your day with your diagnosis every day. I've, been di I've had stiff person for almost 25 years. I was diagnosed in 94. Every day I micromanage my medications with my ability, how I feel for the day, and what the day requires of me. This is every day. It's a micromanagement. But also imagine the joy of not having the pain and the severity of the symptoms I had before diagnosis. Imagine the appreciation I have for the beauty and simplicity for every moment of every precious day. More research is needed in the United States for stiff person syndrome. Research would give a better understanding as to what causes stiff person, allowing for more effective treatment earlier diagnosis, giving people a better quality of life and keeping more people more productive. Stiff person syndrome is a debilitating, progressive, and sometimes terminal diagnosis. More research is needed. Please help us pave the way for finding a cure for brain disease.